Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, June 29, 2012. We begin with a story from the world of chemistry. A group of Princeton scientists have created a startup and are in the process of scaling up fuel production from CO2. Now we've discussed turning carbon dioxide into fuel before, either biologically through engineered algae or, in this case, chemically. The process is relatively simple. CO2 is mixed with water that contains a catalyst and an electrode. This creates an electrochemical reaction that forms methanol from the gas and water, and this reaction was actually discovered in 1994. However, recent research repeating and building upon the old experiments attracted a lot of attention, hence the new startup company called Liquid Light. That name is from one modification to the chemical reaction, hopefully using sunlight or blue LED to drive the reaction instead of electricity. So far, this has not proved as efficient as straight electricity, but if that's necessary, they will endeavor to use solar, wind, or other environmentally friendly sources. Some unexpected good news from the company lab is the formation of compounds more complex than methanol, increasing the commercial value of this process. These products were unexpected, so back at Princeton the research continues, determining how various conditions and electrodes affect the reaction products. With both Princeton and Liquid Light actively collaborating, making waste CO2 useful will hopefully become a reality soon. Next is a quick update from the field of nanotechnology. Scientists from Sikaroos University have found a way to artificially produce the bioluminescence of fireflies. Bioluminescence, especially in fireflies, is extremely efficient and bright, making it ideal for this kind of application. In nature, the compound luciferin is broken down by an enzyme, unsurprisingly called luciferase, to produce energy. The artificial system is extremely similar, except the enzyme is bound to a nanorod instead of inside a fly. These semiconductor rods emit light when absorbing the energy from the enzymatic reaction. By adjusting the length of the nanorods, the scientists can actually change the color of light being emitted. As always, with a new technology, the question was how to boost efficiency. One way was modifying the luciferase enzyme to bind more directly to the nanorods. And they found that the most efficient nanorod formations actually produce infrared light, with many potential applications. Continued research will focus on optimization. The idea is producing LED-like lights that don't require electricity. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description. Also feel free to contact us. We're looking for more volunteer researchers to help with brainstorm and biohacks.